Welcome back, folks. <clears throat> if you were in the, if you <clears throat> were with me for the last episode of our 2021-22 leveling guide, then you may recognize where we're fishing. We're actually fishing for rough here at Belaya again because there's a cafe order. But we're gonna have to watch this. We need, I think it's five or six of at least 70 grams. So this isn't a guarantee, but you know, worst case scenario, I guess we, you know, make a little silver off rough. I, I really want to go back to old Berg. I want to try a new spot there. So we'll see how much energy I have, how long we can go in this episode. Cause that's really what I was planning to do. But then when I saw the rough cafe order, I was like, well, let's, let's don't be stupid here. Like let's at least try this. But, I may change my mind if we don't start catching them soon. All right. This is going to be crunchy. I'm going to mute myself while I eat this last pretzel. Sorry about that. All right. Got to get these small rough out of here. All right, this has a chance. Yep, all right, that's perfect. Remember, we need multiple at that size. It's too small. All right, we need milk, sugar, and wheat flour. We're gonna make a little uh, cottage cheese dough. I know groceries are more expensive here, but on the off chance that they're sold out, they might be sold out here, actually. All right, what do we need? Wheat flour, let's just get like two of everything we need. Cheap milk. And then the question is, do they have sugar? Yeah. All right, that should be good. But yeah, here's the cafe order. Oh, we need six at 70. So we do get 50 silver for it if we get it. So it's worth it if we get it. If we don't get it, then we'll probably only make like 20 or 25 silver. Um, I'll probably wish we had gone to Old Berg, but it's all right. We'll, we'll take a chance. It's, it's worth the chance. All right. There's a chance. No, nah, it's too small. Yeah, rough start. Rough start, at least on the sizes. Red worm. There we go. That's number two. Two out of six. We got to go on a heck of a run here. I don't even know. Did we even get six of them that big last episode? I think we probably did, but we started earlier and they were strong from the start. So I'm a little concerned here, but we'll see. Yeah, right now, Worm is just not doing good at all. 
I mean, it's catching rough, but it's not catching the right size rough. At least that one was a marker. It'll be worth something. Feels like they've gotten really small, doesn't it? Compared to last time. There's a chance. Oh, it's not a rough. Do we only have one? No, we've got two, don't we? We've got a 70 and one that was like a 100 or something. At least that one was a marker. Get out of here, Gibbles. We don't need you stinking Gibbles. Are we still at two? Think of how OP this spot would be if you could ever get like two rough orders going at the same time. Like one of the small rough order and then this one at the same time. You could really do some damage. I don't think there's any chance that's a rough, right? Hey, that was 70. That's three. We're halfway there. It's 3.30 in the morning. I'm telling you, they got to come in quick, fast, and furious. What you bet it's still on Lotro. It is, of course. What level do you have to be to go to um, Donuts? Like 22? Yeah, 22. 
It's too bad. You know what I think? In my opinion, it would be worthwhile to switch Donuts with Bear Lake. Like, why not? Give people... I mean, Bear Lake is all about the carp. I mean, yes, you've occasionally got the, like, golden tinch spots, that kind of stuff, white bream, but mostly it's all about the carp. But Donuts, there's so much we could do, you know, at level 18 at Donuts. It's a great... It's a fun place to drift. You can do a little trolling. It's awesome to, like, continue to up to level your float fishing. It's not the best bottom fishing map. In fact, some of the stuff you can catch on the bottom there is quite scary, so maybe not do that uh, until you're ready for it gear-wise, but... Like, it'd be cool to have, like, a... You know, at this level, to go catch some of those float fishing options. That would actually be really cool. Not at this level, at 18. Ooh. You know what? This is going to be a little depressing here, folks. Now we're going to get other stuff mixed in because it's like day daylight now. That's an interesting gibble. I'll give you that. Even now, it is so tempting to put more points in shoveling. You know, I think if I could go back, I might consider doing that at a much lower level at this point. Nah. But remember, you get that free reset that you're probably going to use in your like mid to late 20s. So this whole time, if we had been digging a lot more red worm, it had just been kind of cool. I don't know if it would have affected how often we got points from digging. Obviously, that would make it like definitely worth it, but... What is going on? That's a bleak. It gets strange once the sun's up. Oh, it's big enough. Yes! There's not much time left, though. One, two, three, four. Come on. Don't be getting small on me. We've caught 37 fish in how long? 14 minutes. That's insane, by the way. Come on, be a rough. Yes. Yes. What does that mean? We're one short? Am I remembering correctly? One, two, three, four, five. Got to be kidding me.
Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this grayling order. Holy cow. Forget everything else we ever planned. I felt like that was a good Russian song that I was starting to sing. That was like every one of our decent size. The bleak are strong down here on feeders. What's going on? If you're spin fishing on this side of the map, just leave your feeders in over there and go catch a decent bleak or something every once in a while. All right, so taking away all those, we only have 17.8 silver left. But guess what? That's a total of basically almost 70 silver, you know, in like 16 minutes. All right, lucky, lucky number 25 here. You ready for it? If we're going to do that, I think we can go up to 30. Come on now. Come on. Let's get these done quickly. I'm trying to do a lot more breaks. Somebody in, in one of the messages after one of my recent videos said the secret is letting it fall a lot because fish will take it on the fall so we're trying to test that out did you see that be a grayling and be 800 grams 800 grams 800 grams <clears throat> All right, just for funsies, let's go back to our, like how we would have normally done it. See if we get anything here. All right, much slower rotation. And we won't stop. Now we go speed up. Then back to normal, and we just pull it straight in. There we go. Small, though. All right, let's try it one more time. Speed up. Now stop. Just a little small, right? Oh, that's better. That might be 800 grams. Gotta be, right? Yes. Just one more like that. Boy, they're liking this 22 speed right now. 
too small. Go 24, and we'll stop some this time. It hit right as we stopped. I'm not sure if it hit right before we stopped or right as we stopped, but that's close. Oh, is that the difference? Get a little castle farther out there. I don't think this one's quite 800 grams, is it? Oh my goodness. All right, we got it. another decent one yeah we're starting to kind of kill it here at Belaya aren't we Somebody in chat says, what reel should I grab on my first 14 feeder rod before the Narga or HSV since they're so expensive? Wait, you're saving for the HSV, but you don't want to keep saving for that? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, you're almost there, right? You have 1,600 silver. Just save for the HSV. Big job. We'll see what level you are. You're already level 18, so you can use the HSV. Yeah. Just get the HSV. Ooh. 
We're this is awesome. Do you need what do you need to be? Twenty two to use the HSV? I can't remember now. I don't care. I can't remember. If it's twenty then you're level eighteen and you've got sixteen hundred silver, it's worth saving. Just keep doing what you're doing for two more levels. If it's 22 and you want to go ahead and get a Saber 60 or something, sure, why not? But you've saved up a lot of good silver, so it's tempting just to... Oh, yes. Come, come to M Dog. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be a huge grayling. That's fine though. So with doing this start, starting and stopping, I have to say I think this Aquila has done better than it was doing when we were doing the just like straight retrieval. The other ones I'm not convinced. Like the other ones, I think. Start, starting and stopping a lot seemed to be doing pretty good, but when we were doing straight retrieval and speed up, that also seemed to be pretty good. But specifically with this uh, Aquila, yeah, we're getting a lot more activity today doing this start and stopping. So I, I guess what I'm saying is if it was me, I just wouldn't get locked into any one thing. I wouldn't get locked on on like, oh, I always have to do this speed, or I always have to do straight retrieval, or I never do straight retrieval. Like, Try out stuff. If something's not like killing it at the moment, try out something else. Obviously switch lures, but even the way that you're fishing with those lures. And I always feel like when I rotate off a lure, sometimes like give it a few minutes and come back to it. Sometimes it does a lot better. People in chat basically gave that person the same advice I would have given them. Good job, chat. Somebody asked, uh, this is Happy, asked, sorry for sending you to the Taman last time, no problem. If you get a second, could you go over what rods you'd recommend for someone who did save for an HSV? And I said, uh, Fortuna Carp Rod. I mean, there's just no question. Fortuna Carp Rod is such a good value for the price. You can use that, that uh, Fortuna Carp Rod all the way until end game in terms of carp fishing. It's stretching it to use it for something like sturgeon, but I mean, for carp fishing, you are good. It is just the way to go. Look at this, guys. We are breaking the game here at Belaya right now. We just made 180 silver in like 30 seconds is what it felt like. That's not what it actually was, but that's what it felt like. So, what a good time we are having at Belaya. Mm. Alright, I want to try something here, folks. I saw something. Um, somebody posted something on VK. It wasn't even like a post on VK, at least that I've seen. It was a a video, a video in Russian that somebody uh, posted on VK. And I want to see if I can test 
It was one of those videos where you don't really see them fishing. They're like speeding it up. So you can't really tell like, you know, how good's the bite rate really? And, and all that. So, all right. So what we want to do is we want to go back to our feeders. I don't really know what mix we want to use. So we'll just start with bream mix. I also don't know what size hook they were using. I don't think they ever showed it, but they might have. So we'll use our normal. Wait, is this the big? Yeah, this is fine. We'll use our normal. So instead of garlic dough, we're using gar cottage cheese dough. And the reason is because we not only want to catch bream, we also want to catch tench. That's why I'm not sure on the on the best ground bait. Like they might have been using a special homebrew ground bait, to be honest, because you're kind of wanting to attract tench and um, and bream in the same spot. All right, this is our smallest one, so we'll use like normally I do a four. I think I'm actually going to do an eight because let me tell you, if we can avoid the the thing that I'm most skeptical about this spot is how often do you hit. We're going down here to like D six ish. How often do you hit uh, carp? Is is really what I'm wanting to know. I get that there, you know, you might catch some bream and some tench down here, and that's cool. If we can make that work, that's great. That sounds exciting. Sounds like a fun activity for old Berg. Uh, it also sounds like a spot you might be able to fish 24 hours straight, not or even longer and not have to worry about switching spots because if you're getting both bream and tench in the same spot off the same bait like that's crazy right but what are you catching in the downtime when neither of those fish are biting how often are you getting killed by carp all right so this is 2433 which is right here and i believe he was actually facing this way yeah so kind of like really right pretty much just like this so we're going to try this and then i've got to go uh, take care of something real quick and so hopefully y'all protect my stuff from getting totally destroyed i'll probably be about two or three minutes and then i'll be back so we're at eight meter clip using cottage cheese dough although at least for the bream you would think the garlic dough would work just as good if not better maybe people are as well for the tench though i'm not sure they might be liking the cottage cheese dough so we'll see i'll be right back
So it looks like the spot is working. Let's see what we're catching here. Oh, it swam under the thing, under the pier. That's funny. All right, a non-marker bream. A gibble. And a gibble. Hey, that's kind of good news. I mean, look, it's middle of the day. Bream are going to be a little... I don't know why. Is it just me or has audio been really inconsistent in this game recently? Now again, we want this to be a tench, not a grass carp, right? But see, I think we will occasionally see grass carp in this spot. The question is, on cottage cheese dough, are we going to see giant grass carp or tiny manageable grass carp? I mean, at this point, I would say if this is a tench, it's a really nice one. So probably not a tench. Does it matter if we want to chase it? I guess we go this way. Or do we go on the middle island? Middle island is probably safer. But do we want to chase it? That's the question. I can tell you this. I'm sure it's not a bream. I'm doubtful that it's a trophy tench. I think it's a grass carp. So I'm going to reel these other ones in and... Let that one just chill a minute, and then we'll see if it's... How long till it gets worn out? That's the question. I mean, we've got so much spool. I actually think I'm just going to stay here. And if it starts to get low and I feel like it, then we can always chase it then. All right, let's just get as ma max pressure as possible. I definitely feel like when you get one of these on, like we can be patient with it and try to get it in. But I'm going to set this down and catch other fish when we have other fish on the line. And so if the grass carp pops off, great. You know? Ooh. This is more promising. This might be a tench. It is a tench. Yes. So that's what we want. Mixture of tench and bream in the same spot. Can we stop this guy? Ah, he's just slowly pulling us still. Alright, we probably won't be able to get through a full night, but... We'll at least, um, I think we're going to get this guy in, by the way. We'll at least um, get through some of the night because we want to see, you know, do the bream seem decent here? Because if the bream are decent, you know, you start to feel like, okay, this spot's a lot of fun, right? We're catching tench, gibbles, unfortunately grass carp, it looks like. Um, what else have we caught? We've already caught bream, but they were small bream. Yeah, that just looks like a grass carp, right? Not a common. It's, I guess it's possible you could catch a common too, but I'm just feeling like grass carp are going to be what we see more of. Well, let's see what size this is. Our hope is that this is the biggest size we catch. 
Wait, that's not a grass carp. Holy cow. A 2.75 tench did that to us? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Still, though. I would have been a lot more careful with that if I had known it was going to be a tench. Yikes. Lucky we didn't lose that fish. So what was the clue that that was a tench, not a grass carp? That it didn't run that fast or that far? I haven't turned the camera back on, have I? Remember, if you want to come hang out with, with us in chat, in in-game chat, just search for my dogs for the chat channels. Look at here, 1800, and we just caught our first big bream. I might really enjoy fishing in this spot. Look at this, another tench. So my buddy wants, wants me to play Lost Ark with him tonight. Have any of you guys played Lost Ark? Somebody did ask me on one of the recent videos. I think it was on one of my Lotro videos if I was checking out Lost Ark. And yeah, I've played it a little bit. I actually played the... Um, I actually played the beta months ago. And kind of went through a time period where I was a little like bitter about how long it was taking for them to release the game because you know I feel like it got kind of stuck behind the new world Amazon's desire to see new world do well when Lost Ark in my opinion is a better game and it's already an existing game so there's ridiculous how long it got delayed 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 but to be fair it looks like they've done some pretty good localization and they did change things up a little bit in terms of the early content as best i can tell from the beta to now so whatever um 
So yeah, I'll probably do maybe at least one video on Lost Ark. Just kind of do a little gameplay in case some of you guys haven't seen it. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get into it. I'm definitely like loving doing um, this leveling guide in RF4 and also the series we're doing in Lotro. I'm just really enjoying those two. So, and that takes up most of the, the little bit of free time that I do have. So, but we'll see. I do think Lost Ark seems like a pretty, pretty good game. If you like that kind of, it definitely has like, <laughs> it kind of drives me crazy. Like first time when you log in, you've got all the buttons to click. It just reminds me of you, it reminds you of either, I guess, Eastern influenced MMOs. Um, it's like modern or current Black Desert Online. If you log into Black Desert Online, there's just like stuff everywhere on the screen. Click this, collect this, daily reward this. You know, it's just, it's a put off to me, but it must work. I mean, it must be, it must get some people going because uh, a lot of games do that these days, but whew. Lost Ark isn't anywhere near as bad as BDO, but it's still like, okay. What are we, are we playing a mobile game here or what's going on? Well, kudos to whoever the Russian guy is or person is that had the YouTube video on uh, on VK, I, I wouldn't have thought to try this spot without it, especially the way he's approaching it. And Bream Mix seems to be working fine. I couldn't tell what ground bait they were using, but I didn't want to take the time to do like translation stuff, but ooh. We get that head turned. Can we get that head turned? Pop him out of the water. Yes, we can. Oh, that's a bream too. What is going on? Everything's pulling a little harder right now. Same setups though. Look at this. Common carp? A little scary. We don't want to see a big one, I'll tell you that. No, thank you. All right, so what are y'all thinking about this spot? It's kind of interesting, right? I mean, so often, if you want to catch Tinch, you got to go to one spot. If you want to catch Bream, you got to go somewhere else. Well, how about this? We're fishing at an eight meter clip with cottage cheese dough. And we're catching both.
The only downside of this spot compared to other bream spots is it seems like it seems like carp might might ruin your day a little more often. We're breaking all kinds of records, but remember this goes back to how fast we were catching those rough and then the size of the grayling and now the size of this t these tench and bream. I think we just set number of fish and weight of fish in one day records. But, you know, with, there we go, with an eight meter clip, a lot of these fish, we're getting them in so efficiently, it's crazy. We're also getting dangerously close to level 18, and we also have over a thousand silver now. So if we want to, next episode, we might be able to do our uh, supercast test to see if that's the direction we're going to go to when we troll Corey. Honestly, though, I've been having a really good time at Belaya <laughs> and Old Berg, so especially today, man, this has been really cool. Seeing those Belaya Cafe orders and then trying out this spot at Old Berg, this has been awesome. So we've got 32 fish in 17 minutes. Is that what we're saying? This spot might be a little broken too. Oh, we're getting so close to 50% now on bottom fishing. We're going to throw those skill points into inline rigs so fast. We'll actually be able to max it out because we'll be level 18 by then. Here's the question. Are all these on Paternoster? Are we doing some, uh, yeah. I think we should change one of these to uh, basic bottom. Because I feel like sometimes when you're trying to level up bottom fishing or any kind of fishing type, um, Sometimes it's nice to not just use the same type of rig all the time. Kind of mix it up in that way. So I might change this one, this third one, to basic bottom. I mean, look at this. Break in the game.
Whoa. And the thing is, like, I'm not saying we can't lose a fish this close. We could. But we are just attacking these fish so aggressively because they're only eight meters out. So, you know, if we can get them in real quick, we're doing it. Efficiency. That sounds really good. So, um... This person's talking about on the other side of Belaya uh, fishing 6933 using the Spiker 15, 215, catching a lot of grays, browns, chub, and also two timing. But it sounds like they're having a really good bite rate down there, so that's some good info. I mean, I kind of liked what we were doing at the top spot too, the north side, but always good to have options. All right. Oh, wow. We've already caught 12 bream over a kilo. Ooh. Nice. So this is what I'm wondering. Is it going to be a little slower than your normal bream spot at night? Maybe not, but if it is, just remember we are so close to 1044 or whatever it is, the, the good bream spot right now. So you could always just run down there real quick, let this spot rest overnight, and then come back first thing in the morning. I mean... Or switch off night to night, you know? I mean, it's like lots of options here. This is a really convenient spot where this location is. But we are killing it right now. I mean, we're not making, you know belaya cafe money but we're doing pretty good <laughs> all right um so what are we at we're over an hour so let's just get another fish or two and let's let's wrap this one up i might have to check out this spot again next time we'll see it's just been so fun. Everything we fished this episode has been so fun to me. Oh. Heck yeah. Even the big bream we get in quick. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. So good. The downside is you're every once in a while you're gonna get blown up by a carp. But 
not it, I mean it hasn't happened a lot obviously so it's probably worth it <gasps> don't touch it I could tell as soon as I started to pick it up that it was a fake bite Ah, it's probably gone. Right? Ugh. We messed it up. Oh well. Impatient. Where are we? Going the wrong way. Okay. Now. Do we ever get lucky here on a bream order in the cafe? Or a tench order? No, we do not. Two rough orders and white bream orders. Man, there's some spots where you could kill that white bream order, those white bream orders. All right. So let's see how we did. No cafe orders. No cheating this time. Holy cow. All right. If you keep in track at home, I can't even add that high how much silver we just made during this hour. A little over an hour, but not by much. That's tremendous. So we're at 1,100, almost 1,200 silver. Hey, I'll take it. Let's keep breaking the game. Thanks for watching. Tight lines, everybody. I will see you next time.